Welcome on YouTube, it's your boy Goway, back once again for another reaction. This time I'm going back to Ratman. I did hear Sharo's story quite a while back it seems like. And someone actually let me know that he did a, a tribute to Cadet. And as you all know, I fucking love Cadet, so... I had to jump on this almost straight away. Um, probably going to get a little bit, uh, again, as it got me last time. Can't help it. I don't really care either way. I, I, uh, I don't care. I am, I'm an emotional person and I'm not afraid to show that. And if it happens, it happens. Um, as again, I'm just going to, I'm going to be talking about this for the next couple of videos just to try and get it out and across to everyone. Um, so if you do want to skip this, I will leave the timestamp in the description. But yesterday in the, the video yesterday, I spoke about starting a Discord and, you know, it, it seems like a lot of you are on board with it. Um, so I'm going to be getting that set up in the next couple of days. Hopefully by next week, it'll be all done. I've also got a uh, <laughs> an idea that Someone in the comments also did, not did, but said, which is have like a weekly segment focusing on just the beefs in the grime scene or the clashes. And I've come up with a name. I've got a logo. I'm, I'm going to do all that. So I think I'm probably going to have that on Thursdays. It's going to be called Order Up. Order Up, Beef, you know. Kind of all makes sense. Um, so that's going to be happening. Hopefully, hopefully you can actually have that out. This Thursday, the logo will be pretty much based off my other one, but obviously just modified. And, uh, yeah, as, again, Patreon, I know, all that shit. A couple of you have actually said I should leave a PayPal link so you can directly donate to me. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, I've got my PayPal set up on my Twitch for donations, rah, 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 but I don't know. I feel like I should give you more. I want to give you more. Which is why I want to do the Patreon eventually. Extra content. All that shit. But I don't really need to say too much more. Um let's let's just jump into this one. This is Ratman, Let Us Cadet. This is gonna be another story. Ratman is one of the, the best storytellers coming out of the UK, so I'm excited to hear what he has to say. Well, from what I've heard, I think he's one of the best. Cadet was as well. It's going to be emotional. I'm ready. Probably not going to be a lot of bars. It's probably just going to be a story. So, see what happens. I probably won't break this one down as much as I do other stuff because it's more or less a tribute. But let's do what we fucking do and catch some bars, eh? Hey. Is that even working? Have to get involved in there we go. And plus, with me and Ratman here, yeah, they love seeing us come together. They've wanted us to come together for so long. There we go. So it's such, it's just, it just has to happen. It has to happen. Uh, me and Ratman actually haven't worked on a pass before, you know. But it's always been in the air. Like, anyone you ask about Cadet's music or Ratman's music, I'm sure he gets it as much as I do. Every time I hear Cadet, I listen, you can do a true Ratman, you can do a true Ratman non stop. Even under the comments on my video. Did they end up doing a track together? Fucking hope they did. Cause I haven't heard it. I want to know if they did. It would be a travesty if they didn't. So it's just, it just has to happen, and I'm, and I'm so glad it's starting to happen now. I hope there's a lot more coming. Man can't believe man's doing this, brother. Man just spoke to you last week. Mud. Yo, yo cadet cuz, what's good blood? How's it getting up there? Yeah, you died too young and you died too soon. For real, man, it really weren't fair. I was with... All right. Getting up there, yeah, you died too young and you died too soon. For real, man, it really weren't fair. I was with you that Wednesday before you passed, and there was such a great vibe in the air. Spoke about music, spoke about progress, spoke about everything regarding careers. And you said you've never been to the States, and how you really want to go someday. Want to know what it's like, said it looks tight. Said you need a man there to show you the way. Spoke about labor. Man, rap man. He's able to say so much with so little. I, I know I talk about this a lot. Cadet did it. But he's just like so direct and to the point with his bars and what he's trying to say here. It's fucking phenomenal, man. And it's fucking heartbreaking. It he's I only learnt of his music because of this channel and I, it still affects me. Because I I see just how much talent he had. 
like that behind bars is the one where he talks about his dad is like one of the greatest storytelling tracks that I have ever fucking heard. Go someday, wanna know what it's like. Said it looks tight. Said you need a man there to show you the way. Spoke about labels. Said they never hollered. I was like, fuck them pricks anyway. Can't yes. you get charted all by yourself? All they're gonna do is just stand in your way. You don't need them. Bear blessing. Fuck a label. All they do is take a piece of the pie. We've seen, we've seen how many, how well independent artists can do in this day and age. Look at Mike Righteous, for example. Independent as they come, owns owns the rights to all of his music. Which in this day and age is a fucking phenomenal thing. Don't need a label. They're just leeches. Fucking leeches. Fuck WMG. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Fuck. Fuck WMG. Cause you done charted all by yourself. All they're gonna do is just stand in your way. You don't need them. Bear blessings your way. Just receive them. You put in work from day. That's the reason. Bar off the bar in the car cause we fiend them. Yeah, we need them. Now that you're gone, the challenge thing's long. Cause everybody knows you was the best at that. And any single time you would jump on the beat, you would always pour out your heart on the track. And when I first. Ah. Oh. Time you jumped on a beat, you would always pull your heart on a track. Like. Hands down. Hands down, you can you could feel the passion that oozes out of his music. This one, this track, this I think that's behind bars one, from memory. But I remember him just being so intent with what he was trying to say, and you could feel every word that he was saying. And I I loved it. That's one of the reasons I fucking love him so much. So you're behind bars. I was like, damn, I need to level like that. Find a way that he broke that down. Right then and there, I had to take off my hat. And I said all of this to your face. I always show love when it's someone I break. So you know, because we come from an industry where certain man can't help but to hate. Kept me on my toes. Listen to what he just said. Someone I break. So you know, because we come from an industry where certain man can't help but to hate. Certain men can't help but to hate. Come from an industry where certain men can't help but to hate. You all know how true that is. We show love when it's someone I break. So you know, cause we come from an industry where certain man can't help but to hate. Kept me on my toes. Small rivalry, but we turned into bros. Without you in the game, God knows. Never rapped about drugs, never rapped about roles. Still got the kids gas that alone their shows. Mm. You're one of a kind. The fact that you're gone cause it plays in my mind wasn't. Oh man. It's true because from what I've heard, he's. He wasn't glorifying drug use. He wasn't glorifying that. He was bearing his soul on his, in his music. True. I, maybe he's got songs that he did end up talking about. I haven't heard them just yet. I still got a lot to listen to, Cadet, and I'm fucking excited about that. The kids gas that alone their shows. You was one of a kind. The fact that you're gone because it plays in my mind. Wasn't like we were best friends, but there was a special respect that's a rare thing to find. Mm. When we first came out, they tried to pin us against each other, you get me? Tried to make us rivals, you get me? They would dish you in my videos and dish me in yours. But when we met, it was all love. I remember when we first met, 2016 SB event. I was like, yo, there's my enemy cadet. You was on stage, you shelling down the set. <laughs> yo, there's my enemy cadet. <laughs> 2016 SB event. I was like, yo, there's my enemy cadet. You was on stage, you shelling down the set. Came on stage, smiled and you spotted me. Small little hug, give me think was lovely. Took a picture and exchanged numbers. Then we spoke on the phone next day. We agreed that when the time's right, we'll jump on the track and blow everyone away. Did it happen? Did it happen? Please tell me it happened. Please fucking tell me this this happened. That Rapman and, and Cadet jumped on a track together. Fucking please. On next day, we agreed that when the time's right, we'll jump on the track and blow everyone away. Yeah, I remember speaking to you about on WhatsApp the next day, man, that we both agreed that when we work together, it's got to be something epic, you get me? Because people have wanted it for so long. Fast forward to Sharon's story. I'm talking right at the end of part two. When they heard your voice and they saw your face, they were mad because people they knew. It's like the only thing that could gas it up more is if the thing involved you. So I appreciate all the time you made and I'm thankful that you came through. Fact, you acted dope and you wrapped it dope. It's like everything turned out nice. And in part three, in between takes you and Dino, you made advice. And that you. Advice. I know someone also told me to react to that. Dino was a young cunt who killed. Um. Shiro's daughter, well not Shiro's daughter, his best friend's daughter, rah, rah, rah. but the one at the end, and I, I'm pretty sure he's actually said that he got death threats 
from Shiro's story because people were so like invested in it and thought it was real. Like, like fuck. That's when you know you've done something pretty fucking special when people take it that seriously. Turn that nice, and then part three in between takes you and Dino. You made advice, and that tune you made in like an hour break. Who would have known it would have changed your life? You deserve to try, and you deserve the fame, but you didn't deserve to die. Mm. Nah, fam, you didn't deserve to die because 28. Type of age is that. Same age as me right now. Fuck. Die. Nah, fam, you didn't deserve to die because 28. Type of age is that, brother? You should have lived into your great ages, fam. Fam, you was the hardest worker in the game. Real talk, bro. I'll be real. I remember telling you, fam, you know, <laughs> this shout out story is going to take hours and you that raps. It's so fucking weird missing someone that you've never even met. Never even spoken a word in my life. I'm completely different continents. Completely different country. Completely different life. And I miss him. How fucking weird is that? That just tells you how powerful music is. It's, it's able to transcend like racial stereotypes. Nationality. Your background, where, where you're raised, it's able to transcend all that. And if you can relate, it's almost like they become your friend. It's so fucking amazing, man. Fucking incredible. And you fam, you know, this shower story is going to take hours and you that raps. I'm not afraid of hard work, you know. <laughs> the way you shut me down, bro. <laughs> raps, I'm not afraid of hard work, you know. <laughs> Rap. I'm not afraid of hard work, you know. <laughs> the way you shut me down, bro. Ah, oh, cadet, my guy, fam. You made me up my game. I'll be real, man. See your behind bars about your pops? Best behind bars I've ever heard in my life. The one I was talking about. Yes, I fucking agree. That's, yeah, I'm pretty I've heard two behind bars. Both from cadet, but it's one of the best stories one of the best storytelling tracks that I've ever heard. Not just a behind bars, not just freestyle. It's it's up there with Tupac's packs Brenda's got a baby. It's up there with changes. It's it's just one of those songs that if you've heard it, you're just like, what the fuck did I just listen to? What the fuck? See your behind bars about your pops? Best behind bars I've ever heard in my life and that's no joke. I don't think it's ever gonna get talked about said this to you. I'm so glad I said this to you. Like, and this ain't no clout thing, no clout chasing thing or nothing. This is a respect thing. I had to make the song out of respect. Without mm. you, I would have never have tried to up it. So thank you for coming into this lane and making people appreciate the art of narration, storytelling, whatever you want to call it, the type of rap that only a few... The best kind of rap. In my opinion, anyway. A lot of people... Not even a lot of people do it, but... Not a lot of people can do it well, and not a lot of people can make it so fucking relatable, and like, you're able to connect through their story. It's, it's, like, like I said, it transcends, like, every known stereotype, all that shit, it just, oh man, he, he was in his own lane. And people appreciate the art of narration, storytelling, whatever you want to call it, the type of rap that only a few of us made, and you definitely, definitely was the best. The big rap. RIP, bro, man. Gone but never forgotten. Underrated legend. Fuck, man. Like. Whew. I did well. I'm, I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright. But holy fuck. Wow. How good is that image? Pure joy. Happiness. Sunrise, sunset. Oh man, get it, get it, get it. I still have so much to learn about him, but it's like it's a fucking damn shame that he's still he's not still here. Like honestly, it's so fucking weird that I miss someone that I. Never even knew. Ever. That his music has that ability to do that. It's... 
fucking love it. I fucking love it. Uh, if you enjoyed that reaction, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, and uh, hope you're all excited for the the things that I've got in the works because I'm trying to level up. Don't just want to be a reaction channel. That's that's not what I want to do. I want to be involved in music as much as I can, and I've got to come up where I'm going to lift up these young artists or underrated artists that I think deserve to have more of a spotlight. Whether or not you just want to watch that, it's out of my hands. I just I want to put that out into the universe as well as uh, order up, come up and order up, kind of tie in together, <laughs> where I'm going to just focus on the beefs. There's other stuff to get further down the track that I will eventually start getting around to doing, but for now, those are the three things I want to focus on. And obviously, reactions as well, and breakdowns, whatever you want to call them. They're more than reactions, I think. They're reactions, but they're also breakdowns and analysis, interpretations, and how I understand and catch the bars. Ah, oh, cadet. <laughs> Fucking love you, dude. I love all of you for all the love and support, and, uh, See you guys on the next one. Peace.